A report alert in Crystal Reports allows us to do something similar to conditional formatting in some other programs. There, if condition is met, the text color or size changes. In Crystal, though, a report alert is a custom message which pops up rather than having a format change. Instead of creating exception reports, which let us know about, say, numbers being too high or too low, we can use an alert. It takes less setup and can be plugged directly into an already existing report. We can start with a monthly report like this one and set up an alert to find out which suppliers placed fewer orders than normal for the year, let's say 30. I've set up a count on the order ID field down here, which gives the item that the user wants. Once we have a field which the alert can look at, the key piece of information, we can go to the report menu up here, slide down to alerts, and click create or modify alerts. Once we're in the main dialog box to create the alert, we click new over here at the right and put a name in the name space. Low order count or something like that would be a good name as it describes what the alert is about. The message in the next space down might be something like there are suppliers who placed fewer than normal orders for the year. The message should be succinct but clear. Then comes the important part, which is setting the condition. We can click the condition button, which brings up our formula editor. And in the formula editor, we specify what we're looking for. We're going to look for a count, specifically the count of order IDs for a given supplier. We can open paren and throw in the order ID field from the table of orders up here. We then type a comma to separate it from the next thing, which will be the supplier names, and then close paren. So if the count of order IDs for a given supplier name is less than 30, as we said, we want to know about it. We can check for errors, as we always should, hopefully none. We can then save and close. We come back to our dialog box and we want to make sure that the enabled check mark is on. Uh, is the alert permitted to do its thing? It should be, so we make sure it is checked. Click OK at the bottom. Come back to the main dialog box and we see that our low order count alert is ready to go. It is enabled, so we can now close the main dialog box. Now we can save the report, and to test the alert, we can go to our navigation tools and click the button for refreshing. We'll be asked if we want to refresh the report data. Indeed, we will. We'll click OK. And after a second or two, the report alerts box should come up and let us know through the message we typed that there are indeed suppliers who placed fewer than normal orders for the year. If we then click View Records, after another second or two, another tab appears, the results showing up on their own tab, and the name we used for the alert should indeed be the tab name. If I now take a look at a couple of our suppliers here, I have to go to our second page for this one, we do indeed see that our first supplier only put in 23 orders for the year. If I go another page or two further on and take a look at our next supplier, again, less than 30. So the report alert did exactly what it was supposed to. We get at least two good things out of this. We can set up fewer reports, which means less work. And we can find out more from the existing ones. And if an existing report needs to be modified for the purpose, it's still less work than having to start from scratch.